What's going on everybody? How's it going? Thanks for tuning back in. So we've got 10 baits done, which means we have 10 more to go. And uh, I don't have any patterns in mind for the last 10, probably just some staple stuff. But uh, it'll be fun to film and do some painting on camera anyway. So let's go outside and let the baby watch her morning cartoons. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Let's go. What do you think, you boy? You want to go outside? One of the smartest things I ever did was put this TV outside so I could watch that baby. She's alive, I promise. All right, let's do a staple pattern here. Let's do uh, some fire tiger. So I got some uh, fluorescent yellow in the cup and I'm just gonna base the whole thing in fluorescent yellow. I don't know what it is about this fluorescent yellow, but it takes a ton of layers to get full coverage. Like the yellow doesn't pop until like layer five. Yellow. And I'm gonna take some Createx fluorescent green and give it a green back. Anytime I have a batch of baits to paint, I love starting with Fire Tiger because it is a simple and effective paint job. It's, it's easy to paint and, and people like it, and it's also a, a simple pattern that just catches fish. So it's just a great pattern to get kind of warmed up in, in the paint booth. Isn't that an orange belly? So my next step is I want to add some background to the bars that I'm going to paint on. And I'm just going to do them all by hand with, I'm going to start with this old beat up brush. It's just got a lot of like uh, random bristles. And uh, just kind of load up this brush. And I'm just going to kind of stipple on some white onto the bait where the bars are going to be. And I want to be just a little bit all over the place. Looks like that. And then I'm going to come back with the fluorescent yellow and I'm going to basically paint all of that white yellow. And the yellow doesn't show up over the green so basically you're just uh, yellowing all that white up. Now that the white is all yellow I'm going to take some black acrylic paint. Just really cheap basic acrylic paint and then I'm gonna take another kind of beat up brush it's it's a little beat up but uh, the bristles are just a little bit tighter and uh, I'm gonna take that and just kind of draw these bars on one at a time just trying to keep it as skinny as I can in the beginning and then I'll just kind of uh, brush them out a little bit It actually looks pretty good just like that, but I'm going to uh, just add a little bit more black and thicken them up just a little bit. Just about like out to here. I'm just again trying to be random. 
Something like that. It's good. I like it. There's a little light stippling outside of the bars. Just trying to make it look messy. Messy but neat. I don't know. I like the. I just like this look. I like the hand painted look. And then I'm gonna just do like kind of around the eyes. Messy is good. And then I'm gonna take a little of Createx Wicked Crimson and spray some red underneath that gullet there. And very importantly. Boom, ready for epoxy. Quick shout out to the guys over at Fat AZ Musky Products for sending me a few of their blank raptors to paint for their minnow fund that they do for the Pennsylvania Stocking Program. I like to contribute to that, so I had them send me a couple of these 8 inch soft tail blanks and I painted them up in Fire Tiger, and then I have a couple of 8 inch straight body, which this is my favorite casting bait. I, I love throwing these raptors. Jerk baiting is a, a really fun way to fish, and I painted these up in Perch and Walleye. So. Keep your eyes peeled for these. All right, next bait's up. Let's do a couple of sexy shads. So I'm going to start with some Createx Wicked Pearl White and just give it a pearl white base. And I'm actually going to base four of these baits because the next paint job I'm going to do is also going to require a pearl white base. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of this Wicked Laguna Blue. And I'm just going to touch it up on the back and onto the shoulders just a little bit, laying it very lightly. And now I'm going to take a little bit of this Yellow by Golden, and I'm just going to paint uh, along the side here, right along the shoulder, and just kind of make that little area yellow. And now that I got my blue and yellow down, I'm going to come back with the pearl white and just coat the entire bait again. And that's going to blend the blue and yellow back into the bait and just kind of turn them into background colors as opposed to predominant colors. At least I think it does. So like here's before. I don't know if this will work out. And here's after, and you can kind of see how that white just kind of blends those colors back in, turns them into background colors. And so the next step is to put on some scales, so I'm going to take this mesh, which I've had some problems with this mesh in the past, it, just because it's kind of firm, and if you don't let your paint dry, it will kind of scuff your paint up a little bit. So I let this set for over 24 hours, and the paint's nice and dry and cured. So I can kind of add this mesh without worrying about that paint getting scuffed up. And I'm going to put a little of iridescent silver in the cup. Perfect. Nice and subtle. I like those smaller tight scales on shad patterns. And just a little transparent black down the back. And then I'm going to hit that black with a little bit of this Interference Green Blue by Golden. And that just gives it kind of like this green blue shimmer. And then a little bit of carbon black for the eyes and the spot on the side. I don't know if you can see that green blue shimmer in the video. It doesn't look like it's picking up. A little bit. Then just a little bit of red on the underside. Then a quick layer of inner coat. 
and this bait is ready for eyes and top coat. Turned out really clean. It's a simple color, but I love it. Next one. And the last pattern we're gonna do in this video is a pink belly night shiner. Shout out to Colin at Musky Candies Customs. I don't think anybody paints this, this scheme better than him, and I'm gonna do my best. Uh, we already have a pearl white base and I'm going to take a little bit of iridescent silver and I'm going to paint the back and sides with some silver. And you almost can't even see the silver on top of the white. You might not even be able to pick that up on camera. And I'm going to just clip on some basic mesh. So in my three airbrushes I have the silver, black, and I'm gonna add some of this color shift purple and I'm gonna rotate between those three colors and just kinda of layer these scales. I'm gonna start with some black and I tried to be a little bit dark on the top and then just kind of fade it along the side uh, to the point where it's kind of just fades into the white. Next I'm going to take some silver and then the color shift purple and then a little bit, bit of black uh, in this direction. And then back with the silver in this direction. A little color shift in this direction. All right, and I think we can see how that turned out. Looks good. I want this to be white right here so let's do that now and you really have to watch your overspray when you're doing this because you can easily wash out those colors that you have on the side of the bait that looks better I'm going to add a little bit of transparent black to the back, just kind of darken that up a little bit. A little bit of carbon black for the eyes. And of course a pink belly. And now this is ready for a layer of inner coat and then it'll be ready for eyes and top coat. Another simple pattern, easy to paint, very effective, looks clean. Next step.
that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. Just a bunch of staple colors. I, I can only hope that the next owner appreciates them like I do. I think they turned out really clean. I don't have plans for another video at the moment, but I've got so much stuff going on. I'll just keep filming and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.